Well, here we have it. The finished painting. An exact copy of Leonardo da Vinci's Lady with an Ermine. Here it is. I just gave it a final coat. Look at that. Here people ask me, so what is where are these bands? So at the time the fashion was for some ladies in Milan to wear these hair caps or head caps, no? The titans here at the bottom. And here on top of having that net, it's kind of a net, like a gauze. That's why you have the color of the gauze here, kind of yellowish, covering her forehead with the H here in gold threads. You see the contrast between the net of the hairpiece and her skin. So that's what she's wearing. And on top of that net, she has a black band all across, all around her head and at the level of the middle of the forehead. These are garnet beads. This is a necklace, garnet beads. These are not black pearls like some people think. Those are garnets. And she's holding a ferret called an hermit, an ermine, I'm sorry, ermine, and it's white in color. The ermines were raised for their um, skin to make cloak to make cloaks. And um, they had like a, a black little tip in their tails. Have you seen the kings and popes uh, capes and cloaks made of this white uh, fairy uh, skins so she's holding this anyway the story behind this the story behind this um, painting is that this lady is a 16 year old Cecilia Gallerani alright and she was the mistress of Ludovico Sforza, the Duke of Milan. All right, so why is this painting so famous? This painting is so famous because the pose of the cedar is in a three quarters uh, position. That means that she's not looking forward. She's not looking sideways on a profile. She's sitting on a three quarters. If you see the face of a cloak, of a clock and you see at a at a nine o'clock um, uh, hour that is the three quarters of a position so a frontal position would be she is straight facing the, the viewer a profile would be she turning to the side or you will see her left side of the face <clears throat> but this pose this painting was done in the three quarters of a, um, a pose. Now, looks like if you see the animal, the ermine, and her, Cecilia Gallerani, they're not looking at you, the observer. They're not looking at the painter. They're not looking to anyone by a third party, somebody on her left side that seems to be talking to her and she's paying attention to what that person is talking to and also the ermine is kind of turning her his head from you the observer and the painter towards that third person who's would be in this area talking to them it's being speculated that <clears throat> she might be paying attention to Ludovico Sforza talking to her while she is posing for her painting but who knows anyway it's a very beautiful story well I was like, like I was saying she is Cecilia Gallerani 16 year old mistress of Ludovico Sforza the Duke of Milan and she's holding 
the ermine, which is both her pet and also the symbol of uh, Ludovico Sforza. Ludovico Sforza was called the ermine because he himself was a knight of the ermine order from Naples. He was awarded the knighthood of the ermine from the Nap Neapolitan king at the time this painting was made. All right, before 1500. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you something about the story. Also, she is dressed in the Milanese fashion of the time, late 1500s. And uh, the other thing is that Cecilia Gallerani was not a noble woman. She did not come from a noble house. She was the daughter of a commoner, a merchant in Milan. That is why she is not wearing a lot of jewelry, gold, pearls, or even her dress is not that fancy. It's just a regular laced up dress in fashion for a commoner, but she's not depicted as a noble woman. She's not a duchess, the wife of Ludovico Sforza. She's the mistress of Ludovico Sforza. That's why her, the, her only piece of jewelry here, she's not wearing rings, if just you can see. Her, the only piece of jewelry she's wearing is this necklace of made of uh, garnet beads. And her hair is tied down back on a little ponytail that hangs back from the back of her neck, coming out from this head net that she's wearing. Anyway, and there's like a, there's some uh, decoration of her dress. And I was saying in the prior video made of this, I painted this replica of Leonardo da Vinci's lady with ermine, with an ermine on a rough piece of wood, as you can see here because I wanted to give it a antique, an antique feeling of the wood, like a worn out wood, old wood. This is made in, this is painted in poplar wood that's been roughed up on the surface around the figure of Cecilia Gallerani, lady with an ermine painted by Leonardo da Vinci as a commission from Ludovico Sforza to paint his mistress. Anyway, I hope you like it. I've been searching the internet, <coughs> YouTube, Google, Facebook, looking for a good replica of Lady with an Ermine, and I didn't find any good work. I just found several crude attempts of imitating the style of the great masters of the Renaissance and they're very crude that's why I decided to paint this following exactly the technique of the great masters of the Renaissance for you to see how this painting would have looked fresh freshly finished from the time when Leonardo da Vinci painted it. Unfortunately, I gotta go. Thank you, bye-bye.